What does Madlib use to make beats? Madlib is arguably one of the greatest producers of all time, creating some of the greatest albums of all time, including Bandana, Pinata, The Unseen, Champion Sounds with Jay Dilla, and his most famous work to date, Mad Villainy, with the late MF Doom. Madlib have always been an enigma, only doing a handful of interviews in his 30 plus year career. But the most fascinating question to ask is, what equipment does Madlib use to produce his music? Today we will go over all the drum machines that Madlib have used over the years. Let's dive deeper. Madlib said that one of his favorite production machines is the Boss SP303. You can even see him using this machine in his YouTube video below. I did an in-depth study on his use of the SP303 for Mad Villainy in his video above. One of Madlib's other favorite machines to use is the SP1200. He was seen famously holding it on the back cover of his collaboration album with MF Doom, Mad Villainy. Also in his YouTube video, Madlib was spotted on stage with one. The SP1200 is one of those machines that you have to have if you're in the hip hop production due to the amount of great records that came out of it. Madlib also didn't shy away from the world famous NPC line. One of his famous NPCs was the NPC 2000 XL. You can see him using it in his YouTube video alongside the aforementioned SP303. He also used the MPC4000 to produce beats with as well. Madlib had an interview in Tokyo where he was asked if he was still recording all analog. He replied, it's a mixture. I keep my jazz analog but it depends. I mean, I still use my SP12 and I've got an MPC4000 but what I like the most is my little SP303. The NPC 4000 is still one of the most slept on NPCs of all time. The last NPC that Madlib is known to use is the NPC 2000. I don't know what songs he used it to produce with, but it can be seen in this picture of his studio. Madlib doesn't have a preference when it comes to drum machines, so he has his fair share of rolling drum machines as well. In the interview with Mad Skills, he was asked, are there certain pieces that you feel more comfortable around that you tend to use a lot? He answered, just these little box machines, like the Roland SP606 and the Boss SP303. I like the 606 because it has a gang of effects on it. The SP606 is also a sleeper machine that you can find for less than $400. It has pads on it similar to an MPC, but it has a whole different feel. Another roller machine that Madlib used was the Roland CR8000 CompuRhythm drum machine. This can be seen in the background of this picture in Madlib's studio. Madlib also used the Roland SP555 and the Roland SP404. You can see him use the SP404 in this picture of him producing when he was younger. And you can see him use the SP555 in this picture. Right now Madlib famously uses an iPad to produce his beats. And he made some of his biggest hits he had of his career on it. Including Kanye's No More Parties in LA. In the next part of this series, we will go over the keyboards and synthesizers that Madlib used over the years. If you want to get any of the drum machines I mentioned in the video, they will all be linked in the description of the video and the pinned comment below. Let me know in the comment section how you felt about this new series and your opinion on Lil Quad as the beat conductor. Thanks for watching.